And we are back with another day of Tales of Vesperia. And another day of trying to remember what the hell I was doing in this game. When in doubt, just go to an inn, I guess. Yes, I think we were going to an inn. I actually don't know. I, I think we're just exploring the town. Yeah, yeah. I remember now. Oh. Hey, isn't that Patty? What's she doing? It looks like she's shopping. Give me one of these and one of these. E yes, ma'am. <laughs> Wait a second, dear. Um, those clothes are. Uh, I'm sorry, but are you Eifried's granddaughter? Um, what? It's just that there's been a rumor going around. People say there's a girl dressed like Eifried who claims to be his granddaughter. <sighs> huh? Granddaughter? Wait, is it Eifried that, means... that, like, evil? I knew it. Your total comes to 450 gold. Hmm. Uh, um, could I ask you to stop coming here? Oof. Is that because I'm Eifried's granddaughter? <laughs> uh, well, you see, I don't really mind myself, but our customers, you see. Huh? What? Wait just a second. I didn't say anything like that. Darling, you just said it hurt our reputation if the granddaughter of an outlaw shopped here. Well, yeah, she's the granddaughter of a guy who violated the guild's morals and slaughtered tons of people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. Well, that. Cut the crap. What? Do you honestly think a child is responsible for that? What exactly did she do that was wrong? It's okay, Yuri. No need to get angry. This kind of stuff happens all the time. Oh. What is up with you? He was saying all of that for your sake. Oh, shut up, Rita. You don't have to worry about me. I'm leaving town soon enough anyway. <laughs> Guys, we can't. We Farewell. can't. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, hey, wait up. Oh. Oh, I swear. Patty is Eifried's granddaughter? Guys. What that's all about. Why are we letting her. <sighs> She never mentioned that before. I wonder if it's true. I don't know. Who knows? But even so, is Eifried's reputation really that bad? After the Black Hope Massacre, he lost the trust of every guild. And now most guild members utterly despise him. Ah, okay. Is he still alive? Uh, Yuri, are you sure it's okay to let her go? Right? This is Patty we're talking about. She's a strong girl. I'm sure she'll be fine. All right, all right. Right. Anyway, if we don't get back soon, the old man might get sick of waiting and start some mischief again. That's true. That's not the right way, Yuri. <laughs> is Patty all right? She's tough. She'll pop back up soon enough. Do you think Patty's really Eifried's granddaughter? Even if she is, that treatment is inexcusable. Patty has done nothing wrong. Regardless of the guild's trust, it's not unusual that Patty would bear the brunt of the anger. Eifried isn't around to take it after all. Oh, okay. But that's still no excuse to blame Patty. True. Patty, you mustn't get used to all of this. Poor Patty. Oh, wait. I guess that is the way. Wait, this... this there literally is nothing in this town, I just realized. There's no in nothing. I thought there was an inn somewhere. Okay, the reason it's that long is I left the I left the I was gonna start the recording then I had to go do something. Um
I don't, I don't get what I'm meant to. bloody game and trying to figure out where to go next oh welcome staying the night I think a companion of ours should have already arrived did a cynical older man come in <laughs> oh he's a friend of yours your rooms have already been paid for so please make yourselves at home shall we call it a day good idea we've earned a good night's sleep we have I still can't believe we went on a haunted ship. That was so cool. Are you missing the castle? No, I just... I thought I'd come out for some fresh air. I just can't shake those words Pharaoh said to me. Oh yeah. What was it again? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. The world's poison? Hmm. Yeah, well, the world is full of pessimists, that's for sure. True. For what it's worth, you don't look like poison to me. Nice. Was that your attempt to cheer me up? Hey, I'm just trying to be straight with you. <laughs> I guess I do feel a little better. Hey! Yuri, look at that! Hmm? That's brave Vesperia. The brightest star in the night sky. There's an old story about that star. In the days of old, a great cataclysm occurred that plunged the world into ruin. In the days of old, a great cataclysm occurred that plunged the world into ruin. I wonder if that's... to do with Bazaria. Is that Bazaria? No, maybe not. I can't remember Bazaria. Was it? it was to do with cataclysm. Countless Something. lives were lost as the people struggled to stand against the oncoming disaster. Its energies all but spent, humanity's hope seemed lost when a pair of siblings appeared. Oh? This brother and sister together fought the calamity and saved the world from annihilation. Is that not the story of Bazaria? The sister they called Child of the Full Moon. Oh, maybe not. After the struggle, she remained with the Earth. Her brother they called Brave Vesperia, and he ascended to the skies to watch over the world. Wait. The end. That actually might be the game. Wow, so you went and gave our guild a name with a lot of baggage. <laughs> now that you know the story, you should strive to make your guild shine as bright as the star. I played Vesperia years ago, so I can't remember. Yeah, we'll have to tell Carol about this. We'll definitely have to live up to the name. I'm gonna head back. You should too, or Rita's gonna start worrying about you. Okay. That was good. That was nice. I'm so hungry! Same, I'm bro! Dying here. Already? The girls look like they're doing fine. Oh. Was that Estelle? Listen, her stomach's rumbling too! I can wait. So it's been a little difficult. Hmm? That sounded like it came from Rita. <laughs> Judy, you too? Are you trying to see who can hold out the longest? Perhaps a diet is a little bit like a competition in holding out. <laughs> a diet? What do you need a diet for? Especially you, Rita. Lose any more weight and you'll... 
I'm just waiting until I finish reading this book, okay? Okay, so we're starving ourselves. Great. You guys are doing great. What? I mean, it's not a full moon. Oh, oh let's go sign up. Look who it is! I'm sorry, but the Duce is not currently receiving visitors. Please come back later. Hey, we keep bumping into each other. Must be fate. There is no such thing. Maybe not. What brings you to a place like this? I have come with tidings for the age-old master of this city. Thalius? Are you here on business with a guild or something? Probably not, right? It is nothing so vulgar as that. Vulgar? All right, so what kind of noble errand are you on? I need not answer that. <laughs> Don't tell me you're out to save the world or something. <sighs> Man, what's with that guy? Bit of a weirdo for sure. What the hell? A town with a coliseum sure attracts a lot of different kinds of people, doesn't it? Yes, people are here for all sorts of reasons. Some come to fight, some come to watch. And then there's people like us, too. I wonder what other people think when they see us on the streets. Well, I'd say they think we're here for the fights. Maybe for you and Yuri, but I couldn't imagine Estelle as a gladiator if my life depended on it. What about me? Hmm, a lost child? Hey! Well then, what about all... Never mind. I know where this is going. The hell is this guy doing? Yeah, he's there. That was a good run, buddy. No! Alright, there's nothing here. Okay, it keeps saying this, but it's not letting me. Did I throw Oh, I didn't. Oh, we're poor. Not to buy a... Okay. Relax there, mate. You started all of this! Huh? What are you talking about? B -b 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 Both of you! St st stop this nonsense! M -m Making a scene like this out in front of everyone! Mind your own business! You'd better put that away before you hurt yourself. Who the hell are you? Hey! <laughs> if I'm wrong for doing this, you'll have my apology later. But I think it's you two who are in the wrong here. Damn it! Are you okay? Oh, thank you so much. You were with, with M M Madam President C Kaufman. Yep. We're the Guild Brave Vesperia. Come on, you're like a walking billboard. <laughs> Let him have his fun. Thank you, Judith. You're a gay of Ruins Gate, right? You might want to work out a little before you go trying to stop any more fights. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Thanks. Oh, uh, um, there's a f favor I wanted to ask of you. Far be it from us to ignore a request from Ruinsgate. Well, it depends on what it is. What did you want to ask us? <laughs> and what you're paying us. P 
Perhaps we could discuss this somewhere else. Could you come to the Coliseum? We could talk about it there. Whatever he has to say, <clears throat> he doesn't want anyone else to overhear. Sounds pretty suspicious to me. A little bit. If Ruins Gate recognizes us, it'll help improve our reputation as a guild. Get too greedy with jobs and you'll end up neglecting all of them. Our job for the moment is to look for Pharaoh and to escort Estelle. Yep. Yeah, you're right. I'll try to be more careful. But couldn't we at least hear what he has to say first? Oh. And then decide whether or not to accept? Classic Estelle. Yeah, maybe you're right. If he asks too much, we'll just say no. We don't have the time to be getting wrapped up in more craziness. What do you mean, we? Let's go and stop by the Coliseum then. We can at least hear him out. Was Rhea a part of the guild now? Um, you know the rules? Who is this guy? Relax, nobody said we've decided to take the job yet. That can wait till you tell us what this is all about. All right. I would like you to stop the man who is trying to t take over Palastrale. Take over? This city? Hmm. The plot thickens. <laughs> why are you so interested in stopping them, though? It's not your guild, so why not just let it be? You see, we have been commissioned by Palastrale to investigate the r ruins at the Colosseum. Huh. Yeah, come to think of it, this city's supposed to be super old. I'm telling you, this is the city with the red box. If someone else took control, it would be discourteous to the Entelechea. Entele... what? Ah, oh, oh yes, M my apologies. D do you not know of them? I have heard that th they are the ancient race who built this town and allow the guilds to be here. An ancient race, huh? Like the Kritya? Okay, so then who's this guy who's trying to rock the boat here? He, he's the champion of the C Coliseum. Of course he is. Huh? I'm what are you this talking is going. about? He is a man who has entered the tournaments to, to, to take on Palastrale directly. His c consecutive victories have brought him closer to B Bellius. This m man is terribly dangerous. If he is not s soon eliminated, I fear that B Bellius may be... So as long as he's winning, Paul Estrale couldn't get rid of him even if they wanted to. So, long story short, you want us to enter the tournament and beat him, right? Uh, yes. P please for forgive my asking. Jeez, why didn't he just say so? Are you sure this guy is really trying to take over the Coliseum? Of course, and he's being b b backed by L Leviathan's Claw. L Leviathan's Claw plans to use the... Coliseum for income to, to, to dominate the other guilds. That sounds like a plan someone like Hugh Moore might come up with. No way! We already know Q Moore and Leviathan's Claw are working together. Hmm. Wonder what'll fall out of this tree if we shake it a little. I like it. I like that. That's a great line. Whatever happens, we have to stop Leviathan's Claw. Relations between the Empire and the guilds will only worsen if we don't. What about Pharaoh? There's no telling when you'll be able to meet him if we get into this. Um, but... Estelle, what is it that you really want to do? Nice, Judith. What I really want to do... I... I beg your pardon. Is this a d difficult decision for you all? There isn't anything difficult about it. What do you mean? We're going to do it, aren't we? We've listened to the story now, at any rate. Right! As a guild, this might not be something we can just ignore. So then, who'll be entering the tournament? Well, we can't ask Estelle, Rita, or Raven to participate. What? After all, this is a job Brave Vesperia will be doing for Ruins No, Gate. I can't do this without Estelle. Okay, so... No hard feelings, but I'd rather not have to go up against Judy. 
Hmm? And I was just getting ready to enter. Oh well. I suppose I can sit this one out. Huh? The boss here shouldn't have to trouble himself with this. Oh, so it's one v one. Then, right? Um, right. So, d do you mean you'll take the job? Sure. Beating the champion will be good for our guild's reputation. It's not a bad deal for us at all. Yeah, you're right. I see. W well, please proceed to the registration area when when you are ready. I'm down. I'm so down. It's exactly what I wanted. See the show, have a go, beat your foes, battle hardened fighters. <laughs> the Coliseum is currently accepting applications. You want to give it a go? I had a feeling you were going to be a contestant. All right, get fired up and head on inside. <laughs> Wait, can't buy heels? No. And gentlemen, welcome to the brutal battles of the Nordapalaga Coliseum. First off, let's go over the rules of the tournament. This is a single elimination tournament. No second chances here. If a fighter makes it through three thrilling rounds, he or she will then challenge the champion. Fighters, if you best our champion in the ring, not only will you receive a fantastic prize, but you'll also take the position of champion. Noise. And now, on to the first fight. Yuri, good luck. You'll do great, Yuri. Try not to hurt yourself. I wanted to fight. <laughs> You're still going on about that? Look at all these people. This should help advertise our guild nicely. In today's first fight, a new face in the Coliseum. Hailing from the new guild, Nice, yes, you said it. Please welcome Yuri. Former knight turned political activist with a Fair prison enough. record to boot, Gigantus Erringer. Okay, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, brother, you're called Gigantus. One a battle-hardened fighter, one a fledgling youth. The outcome looks set, but is it? Welcome to the crossroad between heaven and hell. This is Our so cool. Let's do this! You'll be gone soon enough. We can use heals, but I've only got six. Oh we're, oh, we're good. We're good. Yeah. Eviscerated. I guess that was an okay warm up. Absolutely rolled. For our second round, we welcome the hellacious bandana clad thief, Yugum Jerome! No. <laughs> Where are the starfish? Give me the starfish! Huh? Versus <laughs> Brave Vesperia's Yuri Lowell! Don't let your guard down, young warrior! The battle has only just begun! Knock your opponent down to the gates of Hades! Nice, this announcer Second gets round. it. Fight! You'll be gone soon enough. You'll never get me alive! Whoops. Wait, why didn't it do it? There we go. No way. That was too easy. On to the third round! A masked warrior undefeated with the sword! Johan Dunbar! Okay, Soon, this guy looks tough. You will know the exquisite pain of my sword. Versus Brave Vesperia's Yuri Lowell. 
Is it blind luck? Is it pure skill? Everything will be decided in this one battle. Which of these warriors will extinguish the flames of their opponent's burning soul? Fight! You'll be gone soon enough. I can't remember if Shining Fang's a burst art or not. I don't think it is, I think it's a normal one. Base art, sorry. Wow, look at Yuri go! Looks like he's got the goods alright. Well, it just keeps getting better. Now it's time for the main event! Allow me to introduce the current and undefeated champion of the Coliseum! What? What do you mean? It's the heartthrob with the steely gaze. What? Flynn Shifo! Yuri? What are you doing here? Huh. So you're the evil villain who's trying to take over the Coliseum. Very funny. Want to tell me what you're talking about? Huh. So we're being used. I knew that guy was bad. It seems that way. Men of the Coliseum, so why would we fight? Okay, the never mind. Of your valor burn bright. It's time for the final showdown. Let's do this. You're about to get wrecked. Aren't you cutting it a bit close? Hey, these people didn't pay good money to see a rigged fight. You could at least ease up a little. Like you're having any trouble blocking me. Uh, we probably know his stats, like 2,000 HP, right? What? That's not right! When he's on my team... Okay, bud, buddy. Two can play at that game. So, care to explain what you're doing here? You know, nightly duties and such. Afraid that's all I can say. Since when is becoming the champion of the Coliseum a duty? Especially for a captain of the knights. I'm not at liberty to say. I think it's great you're taking your promotion so seriously. But be careful you don't bite off more than you can chew. Mm-hmm. You're the one taking this seriously. It's been a while since I've seen you enjoy anything this much. And don't you think it's about time you returned her highness? You'll have to take that up with the lady herself. Her highness tends not to listen to the things I tell her. Yeah, well, her highness isn't particularly fond of taking my advice either. Cheetah! Now he's cheating. Well, shall we put an end to this little No! <laughs> How? If we quit now, they'll boo us out of the building. Yuri Lowell! Here we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding. What do we have here? Has someone arrived to steal the spotlight from the stars of the show? What? the hell is that on your arm, Yugi? Yuri! You've managed to stay alive long enough for me to kill you! Now let me show you my thanks. <laughs> Hate to disappoint you, but I got other reasons for sticking around. You are the only man ever to make me bleed, and I swear that you will die by my hand. Hmm. Man, why not do sure something that, a little buddy. more productive with all that energy? That's a very good point. Watch this! Oh, it's a Blastia! I can't believe he tried to use it like that! I've got a bad feeling about this. That Blastia... Judith! Hey, what are you doing? What could this mean for the tournament? 
Oh, screw this. I'm out of here. How do you like my arm? You did this to me, and now I'll use it to destroy you. <laughs> Yuri! Come, Yuri. Let me show you my new toy. Now you're starting to get on my nerves. Okay, that group's fine. Wait! Yeah, that's not a good start. Huh? Alone. I'm all out. Leave me alone. Oh, I need the bloody TP gel. What is Estelle doing? Okay, my whole team just got in my way. Anymore. Judith, you okay? Bloody audio in this game, man. 